The Great Salt Lake's forgotten shoreline history is something state leaders want back in the public eye. Yeah, tonight we're taking you to a one-storied spot that for decades invited only delinquency and decay. New specialist Dan Spindle has its story of renewal. If industry is the Utah state motto, perhaps the place that best embodies that sentiment is near Lake Point. After all, you've got the mine, the interstate, the railroad. But this R&R, representing the work ethic of stone and steel, has some actual shade on the R&R that began on a path just feet away. So it's a very narrow shot where you can avoid the lake. The rest and relaxation of Black Rock Beach. We know for 13,000 years, humans have been passing by this location and seeing it from the shoreline in high water years or being able to walk down in lower water years. Those prehistoric peoples who traveled the Great Basin may have seen the actual Black Rock itself crashing down from the nearby Ochre Mountains, leaving that massive lump of limestone near the water's edge. But when our most recent ancestors rolled into the territory in July of 1847, there was no question they were a lot like us. They'd rather be at the beach than building a settlement. Brigham Young, Orson Pratt, Wilford Woodruff all came out here for the first documented recreational swim in Great Salt Lake thus started the love affair with this stretch of shoreline for decades. And so we have a deep recreational history at Black Rock that's largely just been erased after the abandonment in the 1960s. So before the mid 20th century brought on the black eye of a public space that most would tag Black Rock, best displayed here in this 3D rendering linked to the Utah State History website of all the graffiti and the grime and the gunk that we're so familiar with, what was it like? Once described as grim and ugly, even by a 19th century observer, this natural feature was both a figurative and literal island, depending on the lake water levels and the recreational preferences of those who called Utah home. Coming right across the lake, and there was a little walkway pier out there. Countless locals and visiting dignitaries alike flocked here, first taking the four-hour-long wagon ride from Salt Lake, then by rail, before the automobile era brought car lovers cruising to the west in just under 30 minutes. Heber C. Kimball even built a home that stood here until I-80 steamrolled certain remnants of the past. But the prominent Latter-day Saint apostle and pioneer put his stamp on this history here, too. Really, aside from the massive Black Rock itself, you can barely tell that there was any resort here along this section of the Great Salt Lake. And much like the Great Salt Air Resort and other picturesque spots, they had their season and they died out. The idea now today is to bring people back here. As an archeologist, I like to touch the things. It makes it more real to me. It makes me more connected than reading it in a book. Thanks to Chris Merritt and other historians and a whole lot of volunteers, this notable natural feature is not only restored now to its former glory, Black Rock is getting its time to shine as a featured spot on the California National Trail and protection on the National Registrar of Historic Places. So in the last really four years, we've had to try to turn it back to what it used to be, its natural beauty and its connection with history. The massive cleanup effort that's sure to be ongoing will serve as a postcard of sorts, calling all history lovers and lake enthusiasts back once again, walking instead of floating this time, but most importantly, feeling. Yeah, they're going to learn a little bit about history, but they're going to get a connection and maybe a passion to help us all protect the lake for the next generation. For a hundred years, four generations of people could come out to Black Rock Beach and go swim and recreate, go boating, yachting, and it was really a great place for all Utahns to come enjoy. Chris hopes the new and improved Black Rock can help Utahns relate to those who spent so much time here resting and relaxing as we all work toward a renewed Great Salt Lake. Reporting from Black Rock, Dan Spindle, KSL 5 News. And we want to thank the Utah State Historical Society for sharing those incredible photos that, that we saw scenery? there. Pretty cool to see. Yeah. You can find more stories and answers about the lake's historic drought from local reporters and experts at greatsaltlakenews.org. There you can also learn about the Great Salt Lake Collaborative. It's a solutions journalism effort that made this story possible.